Hey guys, it's Gabby. Welcome to another edition of The Gift of Gab. Today I want to talk about a really, really important topic, something I've spoken to hundreds of voice actors about over something I've spoken to hundreds of voiceover actors about over the course of my career, and it is being pigeonholed, okay? So call it what you will, pigeonholed, typecast, it all means the same thing. It's this sort of actor's lament where everyone is afraid to be put into a box and to stay there for the majority of their career because everyone wants to be versatile and we wanna show our range and we wanna show that there's so many great things that we can do as actors and oh my God, get over yourself, okay? I say this with love. I say it with all the love in the world, right? Get in the hole, okay? Get in the hole. It's important. See, the thing about voiceover is we love being pigeonholed. Being pigeonholed is the greatest thing that could ever happen to a voiceover actor. It means consistent work. Isn't that amazing? If you want to work and you want to work consistently and you want to have a steady paycheck, pigeonhole! That's the way to do it. It is the number one way in which voice actors and all actors for that matter, make a name for themselves. Let's look at some examples. Who? Who? Who is that? Oh, that guy. Yeah, totally. The entire cast of The Sopranos. All of them. What do all these people have in common? They're all typecast actors. Every single one of them. They play the same exact role, the same general character in every movie and in every TV show that they're in. It's the same performance. It never changes. You know what? You don't hear them boohooing. You don't hear them crying. You don't hear, I want to be versatile. <sighs> I want to do Shakespeare. <gasps> I want to show my range. Come on! They cash the checks and they keep on going. You know why? Because tomorrow someone's gonna hire them for the exact same job they just did today. All typecast actors have learned to do one thing and do it really, really well. In fact, they do it the best, which is why they're successful in their careers. It's a signature performance. And okay, maybe, just maybe, that signature performance is based in reality. Maybe it really is their true personality. Hey, Gary Busey, talking to you. Yeah, call me. Hello, Lab. Hello, Gary. See? Hello, pants. Thank you, Fish, for being here. A consistent actor is a working actor. Where would we be if Lucille Ball didn't allow for pigeonholing? Seriously? I mean, come on. But Ricky, wah! Hey, Lucy! Lucy, you got a hole to get into! Come here! Is this what people feel like when they direct themselves? Okay, now I'm gonna do this thing over here. Okay, now I'm gonna do this thing over here. Okay. <laughs> Guys, we're not here to win Oscars. And, okay, I don't know. Maybe you are. I'd like to thank the Academy. <sighs> but the majority of us are here to make a living. And I will play the same role day in, day out for whoever wants to hire me if it means consistently working in this industry that I love so much. So come on, join me, get in the hole. Come on, come on, get in the hole. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. Thanks for watching guys. I hope this video helped. If you want to know more about my philosophies about branding and marketing and 
being successful in this crazy industry of voiceover, then the best way to do that is to work with me on your own personal branding. I have helped countless voice actors over the years to develop their own signature sound in this business, as well as branding and marketing that includes graphic design and websites and really the whole package to help them to get out there, market their skills, sell more of their services, and make more money. You can find out more about all of that at GabrielleNistico.com. Thanks for watching.